How do I become more intentional? How do we become more intentional in our marriage? So the intentionally his is the, uh, is the challenge. Um, I think the first part, uh, the opening night is really, are we a couple that has positioned ourselves for God's blessing and his anointing? The Bible tells me that God has every intention of pouring out his wisdom and his, you think of all the things that are God's blessings, his, his wisdom, his patience, his, his uh, guidance for our decisions and so forth. When we are a believer in Christ, we depend on, all him, on him for all of that. I don't know about you guys, but I often encounter people who live with no direction. Nothing out in front of them. I'm just hoping today goes well and I've got some plans. I've got some vacation. I've got some training events. I've got a semblance of where my next 12 months is going, but it's all based on plans and ideas. And believe it or not, God has a completely different way of living and following Him. And it has to do with seeing the vision for the people He's called us to be and the marriage He's called us to build. And that's what this whole first session is about. And so this first night and the first morning begins to help a guy honorably. Now this is key. It helps a man honorably step back away from the man he's become. It helps a woman, a wife, step honorably back away from the direction they've been going. Not because of guilt and condemnation and criticism of them. I've been to those experiences. Genesis 1, and 7 says that we were both made equally in His image and His nature. And so this is a couple's experience that, that, that capitalizes on the fact that God made us in our image and nature just like Him. And when we fulfill the roles of the, of the image and nature of Christ in a relationship, we can't help but be a happy and fulfilled couple. <laughs>